The taxation is not an action? No. What is it? It's, it's something we've agreed to do. But that's not an action? To, to force somebody to pay money to give to other people, that's not an action? No, Tax- I think it is. Is it a description of a, of, a, of a noun or of a thing? It's an action. Taxation is an action. That's what has the yeah, I, but you're I, going to, I, you're I take this and turn it into a discussion of force. Again, I mean, it's just this is pointless. You want you want when you sit down with somebody, you want to bait them into saying, well, any anything the government does is force, and it's a no. Place I, oh, every, the governmental action is forceful, is it not? The question is, are they initiating? This is just dumb. Why are you asking this? This is this is silly. Uh, Are they are they initiating physical force? You are against initiating physical force against people who haven't bought anybody's rights, right? Uh, I guess so. I mean, you've been kind of hounding me to do this interview for for, I don't know three or four years. Well, I I resisted doing it because I knew it would just be a bunch of tendentious questions like this. Why is that a tendentious question? Isn't that a a reasonable thing to do? To it's like a blog comment. It's not a serious. It's not a serious. serious I'm trying to find out what are the principles that guide your decision making and I thought one of them was that you believed in not initiating physical force against people who haven't violated anybody's rights so if you forcefully that's not the that's not the way that I see there if you're in a if you're in a large social system and a government that everyone gets to participate in not felons I suppose most people get to vote and elect leadership in I just don't see I don't see that in the same way you're trying to figure out where you know what what I don't if you're talking to get to a first principle of argument I understand that. I just don't think that, that as a reporter covering government, you, if you view it in that way, it's just, it's just a bit pointless. You, you need to deal in, in the reality of what the government is, is right now. So it wouldn't be helpful for me as a reporter to go and ask anyone I interview uh, that question. I, I, you know, it's, it's kind of fun, fun, but it's, uh, well, <laughs> but isn't it's, that it's a, not helpful. Well, there's a contradiction in, in your thinking. You think that uh, the, you should not initiate physical force against people that haven't violated anybody's rights and at the same time yeah you should you should tax them and take their money and give it to someone else i don't think it is no okay like, there's like the well, difference between robbing it's the robbing same somebody as and then uh, once a year or maybe when you pay when you buy a pack of cigarettes or when you pay you pay some sort of uh-huh. tax Let's some talk level about or income taxes, ticket, et yeah. Uh, there's a difference between that and being robbed on the street i think there i think there fundamentally is robbing them once a year is okay but uh, Robbie, the more than once it's a year. Not not, well, Newt Gingrich said it was. He said it was stealing. But anyway, uh, he, said, he said what exactly? He said that redistribution yeah, yeah. of wealth was stealing yeah, by the government. But uh, well, I think there's, there, 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 are ways, there are good reasons to redistribute it so that people at a lower at, at okay. a lower income level, people who don't have jobs, etc. I mean, uh, you're asking me to do this in like a hallway interview without without more to rely on. But I, I, if I could point, if I could point to hyperlinks and stuff, there's just been really good arguments made for this. What and are when the good I, arguments? Like the I, I'm waiting for those good arguments because I haven't seen any of these good arguments. Uh, in other words, it's Milton uh, Friedman doesn't make good arguments. The ar- ar- arguments they aren't going to come to No, he, he, I don't think there's a good argument okay. to take money from one person and uh, to give it to another. I mean, we're going to uh, disagree. Yeah, uh, yeah. But it's well, it's morally wrong, and therefore yeah. it has a lot of negative consequences. That's uh, that's a problem with it. And, and there are so no, I, not, no negative consequences to just a state of nature where well, I'm, we're not no talking about a state ever. of nature. We're talking about a government that's yeah. limited to protecting the individual rights of the citizens. Okay. So when they tax them, they tax them to have police to protect them. They tax them to have a military to protect us against foreign tyrants. They don't tax them in order to give it to foreigners or to give it to the farmers okay. or to give it to these poor people or to give it to these, do the corporate welfare. You're against all those things, aren't you? Or at least corporate welfare you're against, right? The zone doubt. I mean, you're just talking, you just want to have someone sit in front of you so you can explain this and look smarter whoever, than whoever you're talking to, which is fine. Not, I not, that. not really. Uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to investigate your thinking since I know you're a libertarian and, and you uh, libertarians adhere to the principle of non-initiation of physical force yeah, against people who who don't but I don't, I don't who don't violate other people's what rights. I, cover, I don't approach terribly ideologically. I mean, I, so d- do I don't. Do you apply your principle to the politics that you cover and that you think about? No, I'm just trying to be skeptical of everything. If I talk to a Democrat, I might ask a question from from that perspective. And I talk to a Republican, I'm going to ask a question from. I mean, I, I think I was talking to a Republican senator the other day and asking questions about Obamacare from the left. Uh, that I didn't really d- agree with. It's just not something. The, the way I try to tease out what they what they believe, 
I come up with the opposite opposite position. But in general, if you ask if you ask a first principle question, you're I'm often just going to get somebody saying, "Well, that's that's pointless. We live in the we live in the world we live in. We live in the state we live in that's post 1913 that has gone through the progressive era. Let's talk about the politics that we have right now." The idealized politics we would have had without that are interesting. I just don't think that's a way that you can productively cover uh, the sort of stuff I cover. You think you can evaluate effectively without a principle? That's not what I said. <laughs> it's pointless. <laughs> well, you say it's good to have principles so you can evaluate the situation properly, right? Yeah, I, but you and so I choose which one's relevant at a given time. Yeah. Oh, so sometimes you use one principle and sometimes you use a different one that contradicts it? In then, reporting, yeah. And yeah, when you're asking, when you're trying to suss out what somebody believes. Yeah, yeah. So let me see if I get your position. Uh, you think it's morally wrong for an individual to initiate physical force against another citizen who hasn't violated anybody's rights. Is that correct? To initiate physical force? Yeah, an individual. Yes, but the... Is that morally wrong? This is the same. I mean, I'm, I've, this is asked and answered. Yeah, I think I'm done answering that question. Well, I thought it was that that was morally wrong. Well, asked and that. answered. I mean, is there anything else you want to ask? Because this well, is, it, it's I okay. Have it's, o it's okay for the government. To it's okay for it, you to believe what it's, you want. It's, it's okay for the government yeah. to do that, but not okay for an individual to do it. Is that your position? It, to initiate physical force against someone who hasn't violated anybody's rights. To I'm not answering that a hundred times. I mean, do what you want. I'm not answering that a hundred well, times. I, I'm just trying to summarize what your position is. I that the know. government should not. Does it matter? It doesn't really matter. I, mean, I appreciate you were talking to me about it, but you were. I what it seemed you were doing was trying to, to bait me to say a bunch of contradictory things so you could make the et cetera argument. This is boring. Is this <laughs> finish the interview now? Well, if if you don't want to do the interview anymore, you know I okay, I, I, you. I I won't do it anymore. I don't. Mean, I just try to investigate your thinking and see okay. if it makes sense or not. And if there's any contradiction in there, then I think it's beneficial to you. Okay. I mean, my questions no, it's, have it's, been it's, fair to it's you. It's been I, interesting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, it would be good for you if, if you had a contradiction, hypothetically, that it was revealed and then you could think about it. I mean, and you do use principles to evaluate situations. Yeah, I do. No, and it's, so you, it's, you, it's, it's you, useful you believe think, in that principle? Yeah, so. it's, it's useful to think about this. Uh, the, the way it was being asked and repeat, repeatedly asked, though, it uh, just makes it sound like you have a set of principles and you want, and I've seen your interviews before, um, often people, you know, storm out or get really annoyed. I was just annoyed at answering the same thing again and again. Did I ask you any unfair questions? No, I just think the, the conceptually they were expecting a certain answer and it could only be answered in a certain way. Anything, anything that takes for granted, that, that that is, you know, naive enough to assume that the system we have right now is the one we we're going to work in and report on is, you know, a hypothetical, amoral answer. So I thought the, the way you were you were putting things, I just didn't think there was a good way for me to, to say it. Uh, that's what I mean. I mean, I just I've, and I've been here for a bit now, so okay. <laughs> to go go back to work. Well, okay, Dave. Uh, I know. Appreciate thank, thank you for the interview. And look, I, do, I appreciate you being tough, being tough like that, because there are a lot of. I mean, I've uh, there earlier this week I had an interview where I just blew it. You know, like I just asked really kind of bad questions and didn't know how to follow up. So you're 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 good. You're you're a really good interviewer. I just as somebody who covers politics, it's 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 it's, it's interesting. I just um I can't go into every situation. It would be fascinating if I did, but going to every situation and ask like a first principles question of whoever I'm, I'm, I'm talking to, it would just, it wouldn't elicit a good answer, right? They just wouldn't know what to, what to say. You talk within the confines of politics that we, that we work in. I mean, you, if you... Um, I know, that's your like, beat. And yeah, exactly. You're, you're exactly. good at that, and uh, just to uh, make you feel any better, Lots of times I don't know what the right follow-up question is either. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is good. I'm sorry I got, got, got a little tough from time to time, it's all right. but I just I felt like it's all right. well, I, I'm glad we finally did the interview yeah, and sure, we got sure. that through. And uh, you know, it was, it was great of you to spend a little time and we sure. uh, thanks for being go so over, go over your uh, <laughs> fundamental underpinnings and it's interesting to think about. I don't usually think about it. Yeah. Okay, Dave. Right, thanks. You got to get to work. All right. Thanks, man. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that was like five years asking for me. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I could 